Dean Cherry at the Please proceed, Edmonton. Yeah, and I mean, like, again, a, a player who's injured kind of maybe would have, selects might have gone a little bit higher, but this is a, a good pick for the Boston Bruins. Team defenseman Martin Marinson. Now, we've had a change here at trade. Uh, Edmonton, Edmonton has, has picked up the draft Martin. pick. From uh, Ottawa in exchange uh, from Carolina, pardon me, for Riley Nash. So a trade and uh, the pick now by the uh, Edmonton Oilers. Oh, and Riley Nash, Nash, former first rounder, played at Cornell. He's uh, got one year left with the Cornell Big Reds. Yeah, well, I mean, it almost speaks to they're not happy with his development, or maybe Bob, they're not happy with his decision to stay in Cornell. Right? And I think there might have been some uh, financial issues as well in terms of not being able to come to the agreement on a contract for Riley Nash. Yeah. Martin Messin is the uh, the pick for what actually now does follow to the uh, Edmonton Oilers. And you see him, uh, one of the guys we followed around at the uh, draft combine, and uh, another one who, who tested very well at the, the combine. And that's uh, it's always an interesting question, these guys going into the combine. Do they move up, do they move down? How much importance does it have as far as the scouts are concerned? But uh, didn't hurt himself, and he selected 46 overall by the Edmonton Oilers, who have been active here in the second round with the trade. Well, he's a big, tall, lanky defenseman that uh, ne needs a lot of that uh, beef on the bones. And, you know, they're going to bank on it. I mean, they got Alex Plon, a former first-rounder. And again, Bob, it, it's the same thing that we're seeing here with the Oilers. They're trying to get bigger and stronger. I'm going to be interested to watch the Oilers the next little while. They've got a lot of young assets, obviously. I think Andrew Cogliano's name is very much in play in terms of trades that you might see. Uh, I know that he was... Uh, potentially offered as part of a package with the Florida Panthers yesterday, but that didn't come to fruition. Almost got traded a year ago, obviously, in the Danny Heatley yeah. trade, but I think it's it's uh, pretty much a given that at some point here in the next little while, Andrew Cogliano is going to be finding a new home somewhere in the National Hockey League. They've just got too many of the same type of yeah. player in Edmonton. Smaller, skilled, fast, offensive players uh, up front, and they've got to start making room for Jordan Eberle, Magnus PRV Svensson, uh, and obviously uh, some kid named Taylor Hall. Yeah, yeah and, and just to add to that, and, and it led them to the 30th spot in the National Hockey League standing, so clearly not a, not a recipe for success, so you got to change it. Steve Tambellini and his group are certainly moving in that direction to changing their, their focus on the type of player they want. Well, does it affect, as a general manager, the way your team is right now? Uh, we've talked about this a little bit, maybe we should talk about it on the air, how you pick, because of the way you're team is right now or you just pick best prospect that's there. well I think I mean outside of guys like Taylor Hall and the top end of players who might be a little bit more ready if you're drafting for need now you, you didn't do a very good job three or four years ago and these players aren't going to come in and help their team right now it's just a, it's an impossible task they might be able to play in the NHL they're not going to help you win now we're just waiting here